It's time for Wave 3 Listens Live on Kentuckiana's first live local TV talk show, all hosted by John Ramsey. This is Wave 3 Listens Live. And this is the Monday edition. Thank you so much for joining us on Wave 3 Listens Live. Everyone would like a happy retirement. How do you get there? You don't need MapQuest. You need a roadway to retirement. And with that, Brookstone Financial, Seth Stewart is with us. Seth is an investment advisor representative and a managing partner at Brookstone Financial. Welcome back, Seth. Hey, thanks for having me back, John. All right, for those who have just started joining us, this is our third week together, so I'm getting really familiar, and hopefully you are too, with exactly who Brookstone Financial is and what they can accomplish for you and your successful retirement. Um, so, in a nutshell, who is Brookstone Financial? Well, first, John, I'd like to say we're not product salespeople, we're problem solvers, because if you you really focus on product today it's, it's easy it's very easy to get confused I mean there's just so many different investment options out there and with 10,000 baby boomers turning 65 each and every day they have problems you know they, they have issues like how to address inflation in the future what about the likelihood that taxes are going to increase how do they protect their purchasing power and create a solid sustainable retirement income stream for the future so if someone walks into Brookstone and talks to either you or one of your team what what's the process like like. What, what is your process and what's your culture like there at Brookstone? Yeah, it's pretty laid back. Uh, it's obviously why well, I don't wear a tie here to the show, <laughs> but okay. uh, we, tr we try to keep things light. But we start with, with modeling. We call it retirement plan modeling. And it's part of our retirement roadmap process. And when I say modeling, we, we basically take all the assets that they've accumulated up to that point. Maybe they have pension election options to make. You know, do I, do I take the lump sum? Do I take a life payout? You know, what do I do there? When do I when do I file for Social Security? And we model that. We, in our conference room, we have a nice system to talk about all the what ifs, okay? What if I take Social Security sooner versus later? What if I take a lump sum pension versus monthly or annual payouts? How would that affect my probability of success to accomplish my goals in the future? Now, we use technology, John, and, and technology can become quite complicated, but we try to simplify that. I mean, our clients don't necessarily have to understand how to use and utilize the technology, but we do provide training, and we want them to understand the tools that we use to get to the end result. I mean, so in the office, we're going to walk them through step by step. Oh, I like the sound of that. So uh, you know how to use the technology, obviously. You can kind of um, explain that and also get them involved enough to where they know where their money's going and exactly what's happening for, for their retirement. Correct? Yeah, because I mentioned step one is modeling. So we, we address all the what ifs, you know, and I had someone the other day said, okay, what if I buy the house next door and then I turn around and rent it out? Well, you know, I've got to take a portion of my nest egg to buy that house, and, but yet I have the rental income coming in from that point moving forward. What does that look like? How does that affect Is that my, a smart move? Exactly, and the, the systems we use really allow us to analyze that, that, and you know I'm a numbers guy, and for those watching the show, <laughs> if they watch it for the past couple weeks, they know I'm a numbers guy. After that, we move into monitoring. You know, how do we monitor that plan moving forward? Because things are gonna change, retirement's a moving target. Sure. Okay, so account values are gonna fluctuate, taxes may increase in the future. How do I adjust for that? Without making emotional decisions, and using the systems we use, we can put that in perspective of a business decision and not an, not an emotional decision. If you'd like to learn more about Brookstone Financial, we encourage you to go to their website. And in fact, if you do go to their website this week, yeah. we've got a nice giveaway for you. You'll be involved in a drawing. Seth, tell them exactly what, what you're giving away here. This is nice. Yeah, John, we've got a great giveaway this week. It's a Lenovo tablet PC. For everyone that goes to the website, uh, not only today, but the rest of the week, will be registered to win this Lenovo tablet PC. Anyone that downloads the annuity report and that's going to be one of our discussions today is annuities 101 you know the good bad and the ugly of annuities but get on there download the report and be registered to win this great little uh, tablet PC and then we'll give it away next week we're gonna give it away next week yeah we're oh, gonna announce the winner so it's just one week the chances are very good we encourage you to go to their website and it's up there on the screen Brookstone Financial Seth Stewart is with me if you'd like to call Seth if you have a question you'd like to address now about your retirement and your roadway to retirement then give us a call 571-5263 all right Seth uh, today it is we have a different topics we talked about REITs which was real estate investments yes last week 
what was the topic last week? Refresh my memory here. Social Security. Yes, Social yeah. Security, which I thought was very interesting, and, and I really listened closely because I think everyone has a question mark when it comes to Social Security. But you may have questions as well about annuities. Mm -hmm. Okay, you mentioned the good, the bad, and the ugly. I know there's different kinds of annuities. Or you've got variable annuities. There's annuities that are tied into the stock market. You've got fixed annuities, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Give us your take at Brookstone on annuities. Well, I, I try to stay neutral on pretty much every investment option, John, because, you know, there, there, you know, you know, a lot of people want to say, yeah, this is a good investment. It's a bad investment. You know, some investments obviously have more risk than others, all right? And there is no one size fits all. Now, annuities started off as very simple tools, and over the years, they become quite complex. There's one annuity in particular that's gained a lot of attention in the media, and it's called a fixed indexed annuity or a hybrid annuity. And uh, while they seem very simple on the surface, they may be quite complex when you start to dive in and look at all the, the moving parts within the annuity. And for a second here, I'd like to flip sure. over to a graphic I've brought and kind of walk the viewers at home through how this type of annuity credits interest. There's basically two different types of fixed indexed annuity crediting strategies. One's called a cap rate. The other's called a participation rate. Let's talk about cap rate first. John, if we're tracking the S&P 500 and say the S&P goes up 20% over a one-year period of time, if my cap rate in the annuity is 5%, guess what I'm going to earn. I'm going to earn 5% in that annuity with a 5% cap rate. Now in year two though, here's the protection aspect of this type of fixed indexed annuity. If the market goes down 20% in year two, uh, with my fixed indexed annuity, I ultimately retain my principal value and the interest credited from the year prior. Now, so your floor stays the same. Yeah, yeah, you've just created a floor. So floors right now, cap rates right now, are around the 45 to 5% range. Now cap rates are tied to the current interest rate environment that we're in. Okay, and that's why cap rates are, are fairly low at 45 to 5%. Every company is a little bit different. What I prefer is what's called a participation rate strategy. And I've got another little graph here that will lead the viewers through how a participation rate uh, strategy works on the annuity. Participation rates right now are roughly 50% call it. So if the index goes up 20%, now instead of being capped at five, I get half or 50% of that 20, I get 10. And the same holds true in year two. If the market turns down, I retain my principal value and I have a floor. So John, honestly, at this point in time, I prefer the participation rate strategies over the cap rate strategies because you have much more upside, but you still have the safety of principle within the annuity. Yeah, I like the sound of 10% versus 5%. If we're going to oh, simplify yeah. it, that sounds pretty good to yeah, me. Absolutely. All yeah, right. absolutely. Once again, Seth Stewart is with us. Brookstone Financial. You see the graphic on the screen. Check out their website. You could be a winner. We'll announce that next week. And we also have, oh, before we go to break real quickly, we've got a trivia question coming up as well that we'll do during the next segment. But what's up for grabs? Uh, Orange Clover Restaurant. We have a $25 gift certificate. We're going to be talking a little bit about more about Orange Clover here. Here in, a, here in just a bit. I like the sound of that. That's a great restaurant. Yeah. It is great. Great selection yeah. as far Very as healthy restaurants. Too. Yeah, there you go. All righty. So coming up, your chance to win. We'll be right back once again more with Seth Stewart and Brookstone Financial on Wave 3 Listens. Welcome back. We have some upcoming events with Brookstone Financial. Seth Stewart is with us. Seth, do the play-by-play. -play. Boy, John, this is <laughs> going to be great. I'm really excited about this one. Antique appraisal, kind of like the Antique Roadshow. Uh, it's going to be at two different locations, at our office in Jeffersonville, Indiana, at the McCauley Center. And it's actually an open house format from 3 to 7 on February 12th. And then for those viewers out in the Jasper market, uh, we're going to have an open house type format between 3 to 7 p.m. on February 19th. Bring your family heirlooms, bring your collectibles. Hey, you never know what kind of treasures you have in, uh, in your attic or your basement. Right? Interesting. I think that's a nice little tie-in, you know, for folks who are trying to save up. Maybe they've had something in their family for a while and going, you know, when I'm about to retire, I'll find out what it's worth. That would yeah. be a good opportunity to do that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's absolutely free, too. So we encourage all the viewers to come out and bring those collectibles. So, so do you happen to be an expert when it comes to uh, collectibles, or do you have folks on hand? that are experts that will appraise. We actually have a gentleman coming into town uh, who's a, 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 an appraiser in the antique market, so he's going to be appraising those items, and uh, again, cool. there's no charge. Nice, That's nice. Nice. Oh, and let's talk a little bit uh, again about this about this tablet that is available. All you have to do, tell them, Seth, yes, go to the, the website. Yes, the Lenovo pa uh, tablet PC. Everyone that goes on the website, uh, actually from today until next Monday, will be registered. As long as you download the report, the free annuity report, download that report, you'll be registered to, to win this tablet. Uh, we're going to 
give it away on next week's uh, next week's episode. So it's only a week. Odds are good. Go ahead and oh, check yeah. them out. You might have some questions about Brookstone. Perhaps you'll get an answer there online. Of course, you can get an answer today from the man himself. Seth Stewart is here with us. Five seven one five two six three. Okay, we touched upon. Obviously, it's a lot of information, but we touched upon annuities, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. You mentioned a couple of hybrids there. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, tell me, can you can you talk a little bit maybe about a fixed annuity? Yeah, fixed annuities are like traditional CDs in a way. It's a declared rate for a set period of time. So, John, if I go out and I purchase a five-year fixed annuity, say it's two and a quarter, two and a half percent, I'm going to get no more or no less than that two and a quarter, two and a half, whatever the declared rate is. Uh, it's these indexed annuities again, it, where the the story kind of becomes a little more complicated, a little more complex. But along the way, uh, came about these income riders. You know, a lot of folks are hearing income for life. You know, a paycheck for life. Never outlive your income. And those stories. That's attractive. It, it's it's extremely attractive, and and that's what's so appealing and so enticing about those types of annuities. But I think what people really need to understand is what's actually going on inside of that product to generate that income for life. Uh, and I actually have a graph here that I'd like to flip over to to show the viewers at home exactly how that product works and some of the advantages and potential disadvantages of that type of annuity. So. In this example, John, let's say I have a $100,000 deposit. Okay, I'm considering purchasing this annuity with 100,000 bucks. The insurance company is actually going to track two different values. They're gonna track the value here to the left, which is the real money. I call that the cash value. And that value can go up with the growth in the market, but if the market turns down, it's going to go sideways and protect the principal. But then let's say in year three, the market goes up. It's safety of principal, you get some of the upside of the market, cap rates are somewhere around four and a half, five percent Now, here's where it gets a little more complicated. They're also tracking another calculation or another figure, same deposit, called the income base. Now where they entice you, and it's kind of like dangling this carrot out there, the, the companies may tell you something like this. We're going to guarantee a 7% growth rate year after year until you take income. Sounds great. Everybody buys into that 7%. They think, oh my gosh, that's a great deal. Let me put some numbers on this. John, the value to the left, we really don't know exactly what that's going to be in the future, but let's put a hypothetical and say it's worth 120,000 bucks. The value to the right is pretty easy to calculate because we can take that 7% and just compound it year after year. Let's call it 150. All right, so in the future, now I want to start taking this income for life. They're going to pay you a percentage of this value every year for the rest of your life. Call it 5%. Okay, 5% payout. When I elect that income payment, okay, what's happening is, is this deal here is basically gone, and the $7,500 a year is now being deducted directly from my contract value. Now, here's where everyone needs to be clear. The $7,500 a year that you're getting is your money coming back to you, okay? They're giving you your own money back. Only if and when that contract value falls to zero do you ever get into their pocket, okay? So only if and when it falls to zero do you ever get any of their money, and that's what you've been paying for all these years. And, and John, we talked about Social Security last, last week. Right. And said, you know, the break even on all these strategies is somewhere between 80 and 82. Well, the insurance companies have actuaries. I mean, that, they, the, the basis of insurance companies is actuarial science. And they know, chances are, you're not going to get into their pocket until probably about the age of 82. So does it really make sense to pay for these income riders? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Now, at Brookstone, what our job, job is to do is to find the sweet spot, okay? Where's the sweet spot in this annuity? Not only how much should I consider placing in an annuity to guarantee that portion of my income, but also when should I turn on the income? Because the longer you defer, they want you to defer because they, they're enticing you with this 7% roll up or whatever the number is. They want you to defer. But on the back side of that deal, John, life expectancy is slowly decreasing or shrinking. So they know it's less years they're going to have to pay you out. So there becomes kind of this sweet spot of when ideally you want to turn on that income because it gives you the highest probability of getting into their pocket and that's what you're paying for. Interesting, Seth. Okay, now you mentioned though that these insurance companies have actuaries and statistics, oh, yeah. but you're a numbers guy too. Oh yeah. Except you have your eye on the client. You're looking exactly. out for them. Say, I've yeah. got, I have my statistics as well. Watch yeah. me work, right? And John, we've <laughs> crunched the numbers, and, and that's why we know this data. And, and again, people get lured into this. I can't tell you how many people come into my office 
every week or every month and say, hey, I've got this annuity here. I'm guaranteed 7%, I'm guaranteed 8%. And it's kind of one of those, y you are, but you got to know the rest of the story. It's not real money. It's a phantom value used to calculate an income payment. And, and roll the clock back three years. The benefits were much greater, okay? But what's happened over the past three years with, with declining interest rates, the benefits from the annuities have gone down, the fees have gone up, and in here lies the value. So the value is slowly being squeezed out of the annuities. It, 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 in my opinion, I think you're better off in a lot of cases buying a stripped down bare bones annuity Th with low interest rates where they are today than picking up all these riders for additional fees. They want you to pay the additional fees because that's when they win. But I want my clients to win. Oh, I like the sound of that. So on your roadway to retirement, this is just part of the trip, and annuities can be a segment of the trip, but it isn't the ultimate goal. Yeah, it's, it's a segment of an overall allocation. A lot of folks want to use Rule 100, you know, say I'm sitting down with somebody that's 60, take 100 minus 60. Maybe we consider 60% in some type of safety of principal environment, such as an annuity or, or other tools. Mm -hmm. There's other options out there, but, you know, the older you get, the more conservative you become, because if that person's 65, then obviously we're looking at 65% in safety. Interesting. All right. Once again, Brookstone Financial, go to their website. You could win this nice little gift here. What do we call this exactly? This is a... It's a Lenovo tablet PC, and we're actually going to be giving that away for everyone that goes to our website at brookstonefinancial.com. Download the annuity report, because what I'm trying to give you a drink out of a fire hose today. There's so much to talk about when it comes to annuities. Go to the website, download the report. We're actually, we'll actually send out a hard copy, too. So when you're sitting down in your recliner at night, you can flip through this thing at your leisure and uh, give us a call if you have any questions. All right, trivia question coming up. Your chance to win free dinner, free lunch uh, with Brookstone Financial. Seth Stewart will be right back. Calls are welcome. 5715263. We are Wave 3 Listens and we're live. All righty, here we go. How would you like to win uh, Orange Clover Kitchen? Orange Clover Kitchen gift certificate, courtesy of Brookstone Financial. Here is the trivia question, sir. All right, John, this week, when was the first recorded annuity issued? A, during the Roman Empire, B, 1720, C, 1860, or D, 1912, the winner to win that $25 gift certificate to Orange Clover. But well, that is a great restaurant, though, by the way, if you haven't been there. I have lunch there quite often. They also do catering, which is great. And uh, it's, you were saying really healthy, good stuff. Oh, good stuff, healthy food, the broccoli slaw. You abso <laughs> absolutely have to have to try the broccoli slaw, so All right. uh, check them out. Big Orange recommendation Clover. there. Be the first caller with the right answer at 888-800-9283. Seth Stewart is with us once again, and we'll get an answer to that and give you what, how much value on that certificate? $25 gift certificate. Yep. Not too shabby, yep. courtesy of Brookstone Financial. Also, you have an event coming up as well while we're searching for the uh, for that winner. Uh, this, this one has to do with folks, maybe you have an heirloom in your family, and you're thinking, hey, does this have any value? This may help out my uh, retirement, and, and it really go. could. It, it, it honestly could. Yeah, it's uh, family heirlooms, collectibles. Come on out. Have them appraised, professionally appraised. Uh, we have two events, actually. One is at our Jeffersonville office in the Macaulay Center, February 12th. It's an open house, and we're going to have some refreshments and drinks and so on. Open house from 3 to 7 p.m., so bring those family heirlooms or collectibles. But for those viewers out in Jasper, visit the clubhouse in Jasper. That's February 19th, 3 to 7 p.m. That's interesting. I, I like the tie-in there because it really could. If you really had something valuable, yeah. it could really impact your retirement. You never know. It's surprising. My mother's into antiques, and she still surprises me. Really? Yeah. Interesting oh, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Brookstone Financial, once again, annuities. I know we have just very little bit of time left, but for folks who want more information or perhaps you have something else you'd like to share with our viewing audience, they can go to your website as well. Go to the website, download the report. Now, there's a lot of people out there too, John, with annuities. They've had them for years, okay, and, and they, they were sold an annuity, and they always wonder, you know, why did I never hear from this guy or gal again? You know, whoever sold me the annuity. It often comes down to how people are paid within the annuity world. Annuities pay commissions, okay, which is not a bad thing. I mean, everyone has to make a living. But at the same time, it often, uh, you know, it, it's a lack of servicing the annuity from that point moving forward.
report. So if you're watching today and you have an old annuity, you've never heard from your agent since you purchased the annuity, we can simply become your agent of record. Because here's what I tell my clients. I say, you know, annuities are, are low maintenance, but they're not no maintenance, okay? So if you're gonna pay the fees in the annuity and you know, really take advantage of what you have available, so every year you may have some options that you may not know about otherwise uh, to really maximize what that annuity earns over the years. This has been an educational experience again, as it always is with you, Seth. But question for you, if you, if you had to condense really your thoughts on annuities, yeah. what, what would you tell folks? Is it, is it be cautious or be informed? Be informed, that's the key. Be informed, annuities are great for securing a baseline of income. Here's what they're not so great at. They're not great for liquidity because you're, you're making a time commitment. Um, and they're not great for hedging inflation necessarily because these payouts, if you do in fact choose the annuity payouts over a lifetime, the chances of you getting a raise are, are far and few between. You know, again, the, the insurance companies are built around actuaries, so the payments are pretty well level. I mean, they've done the math going into this, but we've done our math too, so we, we know how to use these tools. I think we can't say this enough, the fact that Brookstone Financial is not product driven. And, and if you would articulate that again, because I thought you said that well, in a nutshell, it's all about the client. Yeah, we're problem solvers, John. Again, you know, you've got issues like how to uh, address future tax rate increases, how to protect purchasing power. I mean, think about the, the cost of food and clothing and everything we purchase on a daily basis is just increasing year after year after year. So, for example, if someone bought an annuity and they said, okay, this annuity is going to pay you $20,000 a year for life. That may work today, but if you roll the clock forward 10 years, you may, you may need twenty-five dollars to $27,000 to buy the same goods and services that you're buying with 20 today. So we need to, we need to use other tools to combat inflation. I know this is a tough question and it's certainly off script, but what, what do you guys keeping your eye on right now at Brookstone Financial? What mm -hmm. really, when, you, when you're looking at, uh, whether it be the Dow Jones or whatever, whatever <laughs> economic indicator that you look at, what, what really strikes you as something you gotta keep an eye on right now? Okay, well Warren Buffett said, you know, the best time to buy is when everyone else is selling. Uh, in my opinion, personally, I like the energy sector. Uh, most energy funds are off probably 20 to 30% over 2014. That's primar primarily due to the, uh, the, the cut in the price of crude oil over the last three to six months. So I love energy, long-term play. I really like healthcare. And again, it comes back to demographics, the aging population. You have 10,000 baby boomers turning 65 every day. So I love healthcare. Healthcare is a long-term play in my opinion though. Interesting yeah. stuff there. All right, let's talk about your locations. If you'd like to make an appointment, of course we encourage you to check out the information up on their website. You could win this, this tablet, but also uh, locations. Where, where can folks go? Who do they call? Yeah, we are in Jeffersonville. We're in Louisville, Jasper, and Madison. Uh, give our office call. It's 812-288-9000. We offer absolutely free complimentary consultations. You know, you have nothing to lose, everything to gain. Bring whatever you're comfortable with, by the way. I mean, the more information people provide us, the better advice we can provide them. But, uh, you know, pick up the phone, schedule that uh, consultation. Uh, I've got to ask you, though, Seth, a little, you know, you mentioned you were a numbers guy. Yep. And we, we talked about this in the beginning, but I think folks are interested. A little bit about your background and how you got into this business. Yeah, you know, I was in e-commerce, John, for about 13 years, and I loved it. You know, I loved the bottom line. I love the experience of, of managing business. I sold that company back in 2005, went into partnership uh, with actually my stepfather in the firm. People ask me all the time. They say, John, if we start working with you, are you going anywhere? This is in my blood. It's in my family. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for the long haul. I can see yeah. you are passionate about it. Brookstone Financial, once again, folks, again, go to their website and, and you can download some good information and we encourage you to do that, right? Again, I want to remind folks. A lot of great downloads. And by the way, you know, those viewers downloading this report today, the annuity report will be registered for that uh, Lenovo tablet PC. So uh, go to the website, Brookstone Financial. Check out our events. They're constantly changing, and uh, we'd love to see those viewers out at our local uh, community events. And hopefully we get a winner here for our, our $25 gift certificate. You guys have been nice enough to supply these. All right, who makes the choices on restaurants? Because so far, yeah. A plus, you guys are, are culinary experts as well. Actually, <laughs> I usually go out to these restaurants, so I frequent them quite often. So I, I try to go out, you know, get a little taste for myself. And uh, Orange Clover, again, I can't say enough good things about those people. Healthy food, great food. Got to try the broccoli salt, slaw, but uh, they do have catering, by the way. So that's a, that's a big plus for All local right. businesses. Hopefully we have a winner there on that $25 gift certificate. If, if we do, I know my producer will let me know. Congratulations to you. Gift card to Orange Clover Kitchen and more. And uh, who do you, what, what's the restaurant of choice for next week? 
You know what, curious. John? I got to see where I go for You're lunch today. You're making me hungry. So then uh, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Again, Brookstone Financial. Head out to one of those events. We encourage you to check them out and on the website as well. Some great downloads, and you could win that tablet. Seth Stewart, thank you very much. Really hey, appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me, John. All right. We'll be right back after this, and we'll give you that winner. I promise you. We'll be back after this on Wave 3 Listens. Welcome back. Orange Clover gift certificate up for grabs. Here is the trivia question. Yeah, when was the first recorded annuity issued? And uh, the answer, John, is actually A, during the Roman Empire. So annuities have been around for quite some time, much wow. longer than most people would think. Wow, I wonder how much interest you could get on that if you there had you one go. bought back then. Oh, well. uh, Gary Davis, there's his name. Congratulations, you've got the gift certificate to Orange Clover Kitchen. Some more events that are coming up here, uh, the appraisal events, we've got a little bit of time to hit those again. Yeah, antique appraisals, bring those uh, family collectibles, heirlooms, you know, get in the attic, go rummaging around, find those uh, things that you may, free. may have some value. Yeah, it's absolutely free. Uh, two events, Jeffersonville at our Macaulay Center office, February 12th. It's an open house format, so you can just kind of come and go as you please, 3 to 7 p.m. for those Jasper viewers at Clubhouse 61, February 19th. Again, it's open house. You know, John, we're going to have hors d'oeuvres and drinks and so on, so it ought to be a great time. Are, are you a good time, Seth, or are you just a numbers oh, guy? Oh, I like to have fun. <laughs> I hope you can see that, too. So. Yeah, I think you're a numbers guy that's fun.